from them, Sal. Oh, I didn't do that much. I just got them in and showed them where the painting was. I sure hope it's okay. Don't worry. Jess will take good care of it. She knows what she's doing. I sure hope you're right. It was kind of exciting, though. I kind of felt like I was in a real spy movie or something. I know what you mean. Hey, this is totally off the subject, but I was wondering about your crossing there by the cash register. It was really neat. Did you make it? Yes, ma'am. I made that when I was 10 years old in vacation Bible school. And it's kind of special to me because, well, I made it on the same day that I asked Jesus to be my savior. Wow, so you became a Christian in BBS? So did I. I sure did. And I've never gotten over it. Just think, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If that's not good news, honey, I don't know what is. I know. And just think, I used to believe that all you had to do was be a good person to get to heaven. But honey, that's man's idea. God never said that. And yet, that's what most people think. They don't understand that there's only one way to get to heaven. And that's to turn away from your sins and to trust in Jesus. And to only Jesus to save you. Not your good words. And that's what we just got to keep on doing. Oh, well, I better go check in with Jess, see what's going on. Oh, if you don't mind, check and see how the painting is. How's it going over there? Well, I've got the painting, and Dustin's standing bed in the hallway with a mop and a bucket. Any clues at all? Uh, no, no, not yet. Hmm, that's really disappointing. Yeah, but wait a second. I'm going to flip this painting over and, and check out the bed. Uh-oh, we that company. You better hold them up. I need more time. Okay, I'll try to listen. Uh, sorry, sir. This room won't be ready for a while. We just got started in here. Sorry for the inconvenience. Yeah. Whew, that was a close one. We've got to wrap this up. Hey, you got to go. Chancellor's page is here. Could be a problem. Good evening. Can I help you with something? Um, no, thank you. I'm already being helped. Wow, those are beautiful, but... Before you get those to her, I need to double check the order. What? You don't mind, miss. It'll only take a moment. Oh, no, ma'am. Go right ahead. I'll need your help. What's the matter? I thought I don't understand. That's the Chancellor's page. What is she doing here? Just picking up an order for the Chancellor's office. Why? Things are critical right now. And the force of the people are poised and ready. Did she ask you any unusual questions? No. Have they bought flowers before? Well, sure. Lots of times. I just think they like flowers over there. Nothing wrong with that. Mm. Then maybe it's nothing. Wait, wait, before you get those through. What do you think it's going to do? It's a buff. It'll allow us to hear what's being said in the Chancellor's office. Wow, a real spy gadget. Y'all are so cool. Go ahead. <sighs> well, Mr. Chancellor, you, I reckon, just better be on your best behavior. Oh, here you go. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. And you come back anytime, honey. I will. Well, sure seems like a sweet girl. I hope she's not working with those people. What was she doing here? It's okay. She was just picking up an order for the chamber. Are you sure that was all? I think so. Absolutely. I am sure there was nothing else to it. I hope you're right. We'd like to okay? Good. Good. That could give us some valuable information. Okay, now we've got some work to do. Here's what I found. Wait, before you go any further, please, I just have to know one thing. How is the painting? Oh, it's fine, Flo. No worries. Whew, that's a relief. Yeah, all we did was open... Open? The... What do you mean, open? Uh, well, we just opened a small slit. Oh, I... Oh, you cut the painting? Oh, oh, I... Oh, I... Oh, I... Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, there it goes. Relax. Relax. Two years of membership down the drain. Relax. Oh, I didn't even touch the painting. On the back of the frame, I noticed a small slit in the brown paper that had been glued shut. And that's what I opened. Just the brown paper? Just the brown paper. Believe me, no one will ever notice a Are thing. Are you sure? Yes, positive. 
Okay, well, if you're sure. Sorry, we didn't mean to upset you. Oh, it's okay, honey. I just gotta catch my breath. Okay, so here's the note. I found stuff inside the, bla the brown paper, and it seems to have a riddle of some sorts, and it's a hard one. So listen closely. Moses, Kenton, and the archive where the walls meet 305. Whoa, um, one more time. Moses, Kenton, and the archive where the walls meet 305. Any thoughts? Yeah, sure seems like Simon could have made it a tad easier. No doubt it was meant to protect the document. Well, I don't know who Moses Kenton is or was, but this here buildings, they used to be known as Kenton Row, all the way down to the park where the archives building used to be. Oh, that's what concerns me. The archives building. Do you know what the address was? Could it have possibly been 305? Well, I'm not sure, but the flower shop is 379, and over yonder is the 200 block. Wait, are you suggesting that Simon may have hidden the document in the archives building? Well, when you take Kenton, archive, and 305, you see what I mean? It just goes together. So the document may no longer exist? It sure looks that way. <laughs> There's nothing you can do now. Everything's in place. You're just too late this time. Too late this time. Too late this time. Did you guys hear that? Yeah, it was that girl from EVN. She must have planted a discouraging thought somehow. What are y'all talking about? I didn't hear anything. Don't worry, Flo. It wasn't for you. It was for us. Well, what I do know is if that document was destroyed in the fire, then why is the truth force here? No, I believe God sent you all to save International City. And as my daddy used to say, God never makes mistakes. You're right, Flo. We can't let ourselves get discouraged. Okay, let's go to the safe house and dissect this riddle. And I'll be praying from here. Y'all can count on that. Thanks, Flo. That's the best thing you can do. Wait, what do you mean to say my mic is on? No, no, it's not. See, see the green light? Oh. Oops. <clears throat> Citizens and visitors of International City, my name is Inspector Nock Lu, and I come to you today to discuss a very serious matter, the theft of our monument. Please rest assured that we are doing everything we possibly can to find it, using the latest science, technology, biology, psychology, and um, <clears throat> other big words like that. Now, what do we know at this point? Number one, a statue has been stolen. Number two, someone has stolen it. And number three, we don't know who it is. <laughs> Cases of this sort can be extremely challenging. However, because of my unique skills, training, and experiences, I have often failed where others have not. So, as you can see, you should have complete confidence that this case is in good hands. Why are you looking at me that way? What is your name? Hmm. Your voice, it sounds familiar. Do not leave the city! And you, where were you the night of the crime? <laughs> Likely story. You don't leave the city either. In fact, nobody leaves the city. You are all under suspicion.
Thank you and have a nice day. You've got to be kidding me. You mean to tell me that because of a police convention, Naklu is the only inspector you've got right now? Oh, brother. I hate to ask, but how long is this convention? A week? You mean I have to put up with his nonsense for an entire week? I might as well do the inspection myself. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Just do it myself. Hmm, what do we have here? It is a well-known fact that a thief will often return to the scene of the crime. At least, I think I heard that somewhere. Anywho, now, mystery person, whoever you are, you will not get the better of me this time. Aha, there you are. Well, my little thieving friend, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Don't worry, you're just getting a taste of your own medicine. <laughs> Don't you dare use that tone of voice with me, mister. <laughs> just wait till they take it off. 